Okay, today we're talking all things calcium and why we need it in mm. our diets. Our natural health guest is from Health 2000's live stream range of products. Welcome back to The Lounge, Dr. Emma Parry. Good morning. Good morning, Holly. Nice to see you. Great to see you too. So why is calcium so important? Yeah, so calcium is super important. It's what's called an essential mineral. And by that, it means that our, our bodies don't make it naturally. And so any, any intake we have is, is all we're going to get. And so calcium is really important for strong bones and teeth. And we all kind of know about that, but yeah. also nails and hair. Um, the other thing is that every cell of our body has calcium in it. And it's really important in lots of chemical reactions. So calcium is an essential mineral. I didn't realize that. Yeah. OK, so how much calcium should we be getting in our diet? Yeah, well, so the recommended for an adult is 1,000 milligrams of calcium per day. But there's lots of other things that are going to impact on that sort of like standard number. So if you think about age and the different stages of life, so babies and toddlers and actually teenagers are growing at a rapid rate. And so they require a really good intake of calcium. And we know that in developing countries where maybe calcium intake is very poor, that we see growth problems in children as a result of, of that. Um, the other thing is kind of the other end of the spectrum is as we age, mm -hmm. um, that can affect, you know, how, how much calcium we need and how well we absorb it. And so, you know, particularly for women in the menopausal period, need to think about the calcium intake quite carefully. And so there's yeah. quite a few things that will affect it, including genetics and diet and lifestyle. So how can we make sure we're getting enough calcium in our diet? Yeah, well, I guess the first thing is diet. Right, I mean, okay. di Diet is the first way to get calcium. Um, we all know about dairy and we know about, you know, leafy vegetables. Um, but it is important that if you're not getting enough dairy or, or calcium in your diet, uh, that you, you think about a calcium-based supplement. And some of the people who may not get enough calcium in their diet are people who maybe have a, a, a low dairy intake. Mm. Um, they may be lactose intolerant. Yep. They may be vegetarian or vegan or just have a poor diet. And so yeah. in, in those situations, you know, you would need to think about a, a calcium supplement. That's for me because I don't eat that much dairy because I, yeah, lactose intolerant, as you said. So you've got this um, natural calcium here, um, which is from Health 2000's live stream range. Um, tell me about this. Yes, yeah, so this is um, this is natural calcium. So it, it's a fantastic product. Um, it's a product which is um, basically from a, um, a, a natural source. It's plant-based and it's from a, a sea vegetable. And essentially the calcium is absorbed into it and it has this beautiful honeycomb sort of structure that makes it very easily absorbed by our bodies. Um, it also contains uh, 74 um, cofactors, including magnesium and boron, that help with the absorption of it. In addition, it's um, certified organic and it's sustainably harvested. Right. And other things are that it's gluten free, it's dairy free, so it's great for vegans and vegetarians to take. And if you look at the product, it it's actually comes as a powder or it comes as a capsule and the capsule contains the powder. And so, you know, um, particularly if you're thinking about people who don't like swallowing mm. big tablets, mm. um, this is a great option. And because it's so bioavailable, you absorb it really easily. Um, I think about, you know, teens. I have a, a busy teen at home who, who you know, tends to have um, less dairy and more of your sort of like your soy milks and things which have less calcium in them than your, your, your dairy milk. Then um, something like this is great because it's not a tablet. I can just sprinkle it in a smoothie and she's ready to go. Fantastic. So yeah. how much should you take? What's the dosage on this? So um, what you need to do is look at your diet yeah. and then um, recommend that you top up your diet with what you're taking to, to ensure that you get that recommended daily intake. Fantastic. Yeah. And who should be taking this product? So it really comes back to that looking how much, how much you need. Yeah. So, you know, for those who need more in their diet, such as growing teens, um, older, older women, people who are on a lactose-free diet um, and looking at supplementing your diet, that would be a really important group. So it's about looking at how much you have already in your diet and then, and then thinking, OK, I'm someone who needs more calcium. Brilliant. Thanks. Great advice as well. so always. Thank you, Emma. No and uh, live stream natural calcium for everyone here in the audience today. And it's available at Health 2000. Just ask their friendly staff to point you in the right direction. <laughs>